so I have enough power to take the first one down by myself. But now I want to use his power to... I'm not going to use him yet. I'll use, use him on the last boss to give me two extra turns before she hits me. Um, one of these. See how the relics have put them on the board now? So you can make your own power gems. Leave the power gems that are there. That is not enough yet, but that's okay. I'm still alive. And now by this next turn, he will create gems passively. Okay. I think it is now. Yes, so he put his on. Now I will add his and his extra power boost. That's his skill. Okay, one power gem I did not get in there, but that is okay. Yes, awesome. Now I can trigger him for healing and to give me two turns before I'm attacked. See, it says three instead of one on his little health bar. So trigger her again. Ugh. Okay, that makes a good power gem. Also, for commander events, all of the all of the gems that have the numbers for 10, 10, 10, 4 means that they have to be replaced. Dang it, that was a horrible move. They have to be replaced because it's a commander event. So that is one way to get gems to spawn without a gem spawner. Um, crap, I do not want to lose the three, so I have to do that. It might be enough of a turn for him to put down his passive power gem ones. Ugh. Okay, I have VIP, so I get a free revive. And, okay. Okay, now he put his down. So I'll put his down and his extra attack boost. Um, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Hopefully that is enough to take him down. It's going to show me getting thorns, but then he dies, I think. Yay! Okay. I know that you do not have... Nope, I did not get the summoning coin this time either, and that is all I have. but I will just show you the team again. I know you have Josephine. You do not have the other human cowboy. This one. Iron Spine is a great card. I'm sorry you don't have him. But every three turns, he puts down four power gems. So that helps me. But you have three of these, and you have two Josephines. Maybe she would be enough. Also, you can take anybody you want on there that gets you a relic, um, a weapon. So I could put a corrupt, even though it doesn't allow corrupts, I could put him on. He heals and puts gems down, but that won't work because he'll be blacked out. But I will get to use his relic that will every time there are four water gems on the board it will create a power gem too because he's on the team whether I can use him or not is the problem in challenges I can't use him but that doesn't stop his 
attack boost of 1463 added to my heroes, as well as putting a power gem down if there are four water gems on the board. So that is another thing you can do for challenges, is to bring in a card you cannot use just so that you can get a relic for power gem generation. But as you can see, I've got Kata's bow, the human relic, the new relic, and then I have, I believe, two demigod boosters. Yes, this one boosts my demigod intensity and power, and so does this one. And the demigod is the type of the event characters. Milio is a warrior slash demigod. So is Procambrius. This would be a great guy if you had him because he gives me the turn delay. You have one, I believe, at three star, but if you can get him evolved, that would be awesome. Or Quook, which, oh wait, you can use him in the, never mind. So, all I can use are humans. Wait, what is it? Humans, demigods, and dwarves. Demigods are the event, and then Theseus is not a bad card if you have him. I happen to have him six star fully forged. He turns five gems into water and attacks if there are ten gems on the board. I don't have a relic for him, though, so he would not be that useful for me. The other type that is allowed is Dwarf. Those are the Ur cards, and this three-star card is a turn delay, two-turn turn delay. That gives you two more turns to let your hero's skills repower up, as well as gives you two turns to try to make more power gems and avoid getting hit and losing any health. So even though he is just a little dinky three-star guy, everybody can get him. If you go to Codex, I'm just going to find him right away because I'm lazy and I don't want to scroll. Okay, at the two-star level, he's farmable, which means you scroll to the back and you go play this mission again. I'm just going to loot it. Still not. <laughs> no. Okay. Play it as many times as it takes to get one, but eventually you will get one. And they have these that are farmable for all affin affinities except for light and earth. Um, oh wait. Fire is the same thing. He's this fell clan sapper. If you go to the not three star one, you can go replay that level and farm for him. I think you cannot go for it. Yeah, you can't farm for a three star. You have to farm for a two star. But you're not using him for his damage, obviously. He only does, look at him, at maxed and fully awakened five times. He only attacks for 770 freaking points. All you need him for is the two-turn delay. 